Well, I've been doing this for a number of years now, and I think the joy for me comes in the fact that you see so many kids become leaders and want to participate in some causes, such as um, this event or even other events for the local community. Um, and to see these kids grow to be future leaders is probably the most rewarding part about the Zonta Club. Oh, well, that's fabulous. Michelle, what about you? Um, well, this is the first time that I've ever um, been part of Zonta. And Nikki you know, has inspired me to be a part of the group here at Cardinal Leger. And she's right, uh, students have a chance to become leaders within their school and within the broader community. Uh, so it's great to see them become such leaders. And you know, sometimes sports isn't for everybody or uh, dance isn't for everybody. But uh, doing something like this where it's you know, social justice, um, they tend to excel. So it's great to see that there's all sorts of programs available within our school and some kids just fit in so well within this program. So. I think it's a balance. Um, you ha if, when you're passionate about doing something, you will put the effort in and you have the stamina to uh, schedule meetings and to run the events. And again, you're not doing it on your own. You're always collaborating with other teachers and um, the students. And then the Santa Club joins powers with other um, school clubs that we have as well um, to make it bigger, to make it better. Um, and more fun, and to also attract young uh, Zonchins for next year. Well, we actually did a couple of things this year that worked really well, so we'd like to maintain that uh, for next year. Uh, we did uh, quite a bit of um, larger scale events this year in the local and international community, so we had. Um, done a, a scare campaign for Halloween where we, we scare hunger. Yeah, we scare hunger for Halloween where we uh, collected non-perishable goods. So we'd like to do that again and donate it to the night stable. And maybe even try to donate more than and, what we yeah, did this year. Maybe set a higher goal mm -hmm. so we have more. Right. Um, and we also had done something for the Beater Center, which is a local women's um, not necessarily shelter, but just a support system for, for young moms. And so we had to do a lot of um, collection on, on diapers and, and just baby, um, baby items, necessities. baby necessities. Right. So we'd like to do that again, possibly, in a larger scale to collect more. For sure. um, we also were able to collect all the pennies that are no longer in circulation and um, be a part of the Free to Children Foundation and um, support 17 lives with fresh water for the rest, the rest of, their lives. of their lives, which is, I thought, a, a very important um, sustainable project. Um, so we are having our first annual yeah. uh, mini we day at our school, which is amazing. So we are, we're trying to encourage the youth to make changes within the community. And within their school, so we're going to have dancers, singers. We're having a healthy food bake, a healthy bake sale, healthy food bake sale, whatever you want to yeah. call it. Um, we are going to have speaker, come. a guest speaker, uh, Elvin Law, who is going to hopefully motivate the students um, and let them know that they're not whatever's happened in their life, they're not um, defined by that. So whatever hardships they've ever gone through, uh, that's not a, a way to cripple them. That they can overcome everything and and make changes in their own life. So it's going to be a great event. And that's hopefully something that we want to do on an annual basis. Right.